Okay, so we mentioned it's my last day before maternity leave. So <laughs> Elliot is helping me here take a load of weight. You're going, oh, you got oh. me off the screen. Here we are. Here so we are. if you've noticed the last couple weeks, I've been sitting off to the side a little bit here we are. because it's, it's a lot. Too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We only have a couple weeks so, left before baby. I'll I think just, you put this on here, backwards. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll just face you here. Okay. And you just tell me what to do. And there we go. Okay, so pointed some of the 70s. Yesterday we had a first time in the 70s in February. Ever. So it's been pretty impressive. Yes, absolutely. Where's the cold front, Elliot? Cold front? Uh, <laughs> looks, looks, like, looks like we're. Yes, there you go. Very good. You can see the cold front there, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are really going to see those temperatures drop. So do you have your winter coat still? Uh, no. Oh, mm, mm. I'll get it back up. We need that winter coat. So we have the winter coat. We're going to drop in 30s, 20s already. We're going to really stay in the 20s for the rest of the day. And these winds, what's our highest number? We have 40, 45? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got 40, there. 45 mile per hour wind gusts. That's going to stay consistent for the day. So uh, your hair may be blowing around this afternoon a little Not bit. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. But look what it's going to do to our temperatures. We're going to feel like the single digits in the teens. It's not good. It's not good. It's not going to last for long, though. So. My legs are hurting. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know why you were kneeling anyways. Yeah, so I'll just sit here and do this. This is great. We should have done this weeks ago. So there we go. We're wintry mix this morning. This is the chair I've actually been sitting in off screen, if you've seen me disappear for a bit. But uh, we're going to switch to some snow, some lake effect snow. So this is all we're going to wrap around. It feels so weird sitting here doing this. So this is going to wrap around. We're going to get some lake effect snow. And we're we're going to have that for much of the afternoon, uh, really the beginning of the afternoon as those temperatures drop. We'll see maybe one, maybe two inches of accumulation, but mainly on grassy surfaces will be dry by this evening, but just downright bitter cold. So winter weather advisory for mostly everyone until four o'clock today. Quite a turnaround. Okay, Elliot, I need to go to the other okay, side of the screen. Help this me out here. So crazy turnaround from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> to a winter weather advisory. There we go. So here's your Wednesday bus stop planner. We have uh, 23 degrees by the day's end and just that uh, definitely breezy winds and losing any daylight at 630. So partly cloudy. We're going to be dry overnight. I keep forgetting to change this graphic. You know, mom brain, pregnancy brain here. 20 degrees though overnight and then we're going to be dry the next couple of days and we're going to get Elliot playing pickleball here <laughs> by the weekend outside yet again. So no worries there. No worries there. <laughs> Uh, but we are definitely going to improve with our temperatures as well, slowly but surely. So here's a super seven day, 36 degrees till tomorrow, 48 on Friday. Okay, Elliot, we need some assistance. We need, okay. a, we need a touch Tuesday here. Look All at right. the weekend, beautiful. How do we, oh, Go the backwards this way. Okay, stop, stop. There we go. Yeah. Ah, nice. Okay, so now go this way again. Okay. Go back this way. Go oh, this, this way. way. This oh, way. this way. Wait a minute. <laughs> Climate Prediction Center is going to keep us warm. All right, round of applause for Elliot. Woo! This is harder than it looks, right? Very hard. There we go. There and we go. We love Candace, right? There we go. You won't see me again until June, do this. Uh, Isn't don't that say weird? that. Don't say I that. I know. Why? Oh, I got to move you off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take us away. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Coming for you, Rob. <laughs> All right. Whew. Don't it's give up here. your day job. Thank you. I won't. I won't. <laughs> but you know what? Did Candace just deserve to Actually, relax? Get, yeah. Well, I absolutely uh, agree with that. Yeah. Totally good. Okay. All right. You're cool. All right. right. <laughs> I know. Well, <laughs> what? You know, really, when you're on that green screen, yeah. everything's turned around for you because you're used to seeing yourself in a mirror. I give you guys so much credit. I could not. you have to make the opposite She move. was telling me yeah. exactly where to go, and I could not get those directions. So props to you guys in the traffic and the weather department. <laughs> Man, tough okay. job. Well, props to you. You have four hours of news to present. All right, yeah. And we, so crazy weather, right? We had a tornado confirmed uh, touchdown in West Michigan last night uh, during our severe weather. So, coming up, uh, we're going to have team coverage of that rare, rare weather event and the damage it left behind. And teens aging out of the foster care system, facing challenges learning to live on their own. Arlo and Coomer talked to the local program, seeing how they're helping them make those next steps. And then, of course, we have all of our uh, election coverage as yep. well, primary day yesterday. All right, and a few villages have still not been completely decided, but yep. Uh, yep, we'll have all those numbers for you. Time.